Hey guys, this is Alrighty Then, and today we've got a video for you. Uh, I want to introduce you to Cookie. Say hi, Cookie. Hey, hi everybody in YouTube land. This is Cookie. She's a Shih Tzu, and she is prone to kidney stones. Uh, she was a rescue. My wife picked her up. She was a rescue. She's a great dog. We love her so much, but she has kidney stones. She's been operated from them before, and in order to minimize the amount of kidney stones that she gets uh, during her lifetime, uh, they, they recommend drinking distilled water. Filtered water is not enough, unfortunately, but distilled water is better. That still doesn't mean she's going to not get kidney stones again, but we took her to the vet the other day, and she still had a couple brewing in there. They're still small at this time. Say hi, Cookie. Cookie. Oh, she's so cute. So in order to minimize the amount of kidney stones that she's going to get, we're uh, going to be distilling her water. So we went ahead and bought a water distiller. It came in this box right here. Um, the box is all beat up, but this is what the distiller came in. It's not a box inside a box. This is it. So through the magic of television, I'm going to make the box disappear at a snap of my finger. And there it is. Here is the distiller. It comes in the box just like this. So let's uh, tear into it here. So this is the top. This has a motor, a fan, a heating element, a coil, a little spout that comes out. <clears throat> inside this, there is a lid with a little rubber gasket inside. There is, uh, this product can be applied to get rid of the dirt on the surface of the inside stainless steel liner. So this is used to clean the distiller because it will produce minerals. And that's what the distillation process does. It removes all the minerals from the water so that they get pure water only with none of the um, minerals. So let's see. We've got a plug right here or a cord. Here's a handle. Here are these two little things. I wonder what these are for. We have another spout looking thing. This might connect to here somewhere. But we'll figure we'll figure it out in a second. And then we have another little lid here. <clears throat> There's some silica gel. We don't need that. You can throw that away. So we have this and this. All right. Oh, that's, I think this is the lid to the, the bottle. Ah, yes. So this is the, <clears throat> this is where the water will be distilled into. This is the lid for that. This goes on top of the lid to close it, or when you're making the water, you put this in here so that the water can go right in. All right, cool. Again, we're gonna figure it out as we go. And this is the <clears throat> where you put the water in initially. So there's a plug here that goes to the wall, and this plug goes to this motor that connects here. So. There is a fill line, so you know how much water to put. It's right inside here. So you're gonna fill it up with water all the way to the top. And it's got a nice little digital dial here. A power button, plus or minus. Okay, all right. Okay, so <clears throat> we are gonna need a Phillips screwdriver to put the handles on the, the water jug itself. So let's see, I think it goes like this or like this. What does YouTube land think? Like this or like this? Okay, it's gotta go like this. It's gonna go this way. Um, <clears throat> the instructions really don't say much about how to put it together. It's uh, super limited. They show you the pictures, but as far as how to put it together, there's really not much <clears throat> on how to do it. So that's why I'm making this video so you guys can see. Even on the video or on the pictures, they don't have the handle attached. 
Uh, do you need to attach the handle? No, you don't. But as a matter of convenience, I think it'd just be nicer to have it in there. So let's let's do this. So you take these little screws out. There's like a nut and bolt. Pop that out. Start the nut first inside the little hole. Slip it through the handle. Okay, and then attach the other part. Slip the nut through, or at least get it started initially. And then with the Phillips screwdriver, you can tighten it up. <clears throat> so unless you've got <clears throat> really good grip strength, you might need to use a pair of pliers to hold the nut while you're screwing it on one side to the other. Let's do the other one. And this is like a little non-slip rubber gasket that goes on the bottom that you can take it off so that this thing doesn't slip around. Uh, we are not going to be making water today because that takes a long time. Uh, the instructions say that it will make up to eight, uh, six gallons per day, which is faster than you could drink. So what, I, what, what we're going to do is we're just going to make water for a day, let it last you know, the whole week, and then make water again like every Saturday or something. That should be enough for the dogs to drink, both of them, during that time. Okay, so look, the handle is on. It's nice and secure. We're going to put this, let's turn it over, and again, this is just a little non-slip rubber gasket so that it doesn't uh, slip around your counter in case the cat decides to jump up on the counter and knock it over. You know how cats like to do that. Okay, there it is. So here it is, perfect. All right, let's talk about this lid. Now, on the lid itself, there's a little, there's a little lip that flaps around. And that's where this goes into. So that's going to slip right into there. And then it locks in place. Okay? Just like this. Push it in and it's going to stay secure. So you would put this on the base. This, you would fill it up with water. This goes right into it. It just fits right on, doesn't snap in or anything. There's a little handle to hold it. This goes plugged into this one. And there's really only one place to plug it in. You can't plug it into any other uh, place. They're both male and female, female and male, so you could not connect one to the other. All right, so that's plugged in. You put it like this. Your water jug would go over to the side. This, make sure you've got your little rubber gasket on there. That goes in here, okay? And this goes like so. And you just push it up against it. So once you have the water and you start it, it's going to finish and it should stop by itself. So let me just turn it on. The fan starts to spin to heat up the coil. turn it off for a second okay so it says here <clears throat> that uh, the rapid water production four liters 
condensed water can be produced in 3.5 hours. So it's going to take three and a half hours for four liters. For the first time, add one liter of water and two tablespoons of citric acid into the tank of the main engine. Cover the head assembly. Boil water with electricity for about 20 minutes. Add, after pouring out the water, rinse the tank and distillation cover with clean water. The distilled water made for the first time cannot be drunk. So you have to do a, like a preliminary cleaning first. <clears throat> and I believe this is the citric acid right here. It's a detergent. And every now and then you just have to do it. So it's really not a complicated device. Um, it will make steam, and this is to eliminate all the minerals from the water. It's by Vevor. I'm not uh, uh, advocating that you go buy a Vevor. You could buy any one of them, but they're all pretty much work the same. Okay? So alrighty, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.